Now let me tell y'all something. Before I even begin, I ain't getting no sleep. <laughs> I ain't getting no sleep on this holiday. Let me see. I ain't getting no sleep yet for this holiday that we just celebrated. See? So if I'm squinching and that's because I'm tired, my eyes are like, girl, what is wrong with you? Let's see. We are the ancestors. Bam. Let's see. How y'all feeling? I'm doing exceptionally well, I think. Yeah, yeah, thanks for asking. No problem. Today, really briefly, because I'm tired.com. I wanted to talk about us being the ancestors. In lieu of what happened on yesterday, let me see if I can move this up. Okay, good. In lieu of what happened on yesterday, and I'm sure a lot of you all caught it or maybe, you know, glimpses of it, of what happened with the um, security guard. The security guard in the, uh, the little, the, the, the Alabama, Alabama brawl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The Alabama brawl. Wait, hold up. Let me see if I can put my um my little green screen on here. Let me see. Okay. Let me see more. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Interact. Nope, not that one. Um. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, I don't want no series. I don't see it. I don't see it. Do, 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 do. I don't see it, y'all. I ain't it either. Oh, well, I can't do it. The camera, I don't want to flip the camera. I want support. I don't want settings. Well, I guess I can't do it then. I should have myself. Oh, wait, right here. Maybe it's, oh, I think I found it. I think I found it. Green screen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Let's see. See if I can put a picture back there. Uh -huh. Let's see. Somebody say, give me the mic. <laughs> oh, I got the mic in front of my face right there. How y'all doing? Hello, hello. So I really wanted to talk real quickly about us being the ancestors. And I'm not going to be here long because like I said, I didn't even go to sleep last night. <laughs> hey, how you doing? And I, I really just wanted to point out the fact, you know, I come here all the time and we, I don't want to make this a low frequency um, live here. Monique and my regular supporters, I don't. I want you all to see how much we are connected. Do y'all see how much we are connected now? Do y'all see how much everything is energy, frequency, and vibration that we ain't nothing but a body of Christ? Now, when we're talking about different people in the matrix, what we're really talking about is recessive and dominant traits. Okay? We learned this here basic, basic uh, <laughs> system in school. The blue-eyed being, the brown-eyed being, the dominant, recessive trait. The X and Y chromosome. I'm not making nothing up. It just is what it is. This is how the coding of the matrix is and will always be. However, with this in mind, y'all, <laughs> I often talk about the blood. You eating right for your blood type. Blood type personalities is, you know, the footprint of your DNA is in your blood. I'm going to take it a little bit further here, though. Your trauma, your Akashic records, your triggers, it's all in the blood. There is nothing new underneath the sun. So this particular situation is, is, is powerful enough to wake up <laughs> a certain group of people. Simply because these people have the same core traumas or they have the same lineages or blood type or lifelines and they simply remember. So it's interesting to me, and like I said, I don't watch fights. I don't even, I have TVs, I own TVs, but they never own. 
I don't have no cable. I don't have no Netflix, no satellite, no nothing to keep me in contact with drama. That's how I stand clear. But so even for me to see a video like that and to watch it for a couple of seconds and not scroll is something. So I sat there and I watched that whole video. And at the end of the video, I was like, oh my God. It was a sense of being proud, not proud of the acts that took place. It's about proud of the healing that's underway. See, you know, this we govern underneath this thing called law of polarity. Again, it goes back to this dominating recessive trait that I'm talking about here. Where everything is going to be two sides. There is nothing new underneath the sun. And being that there's two sides, there's, there's the so-called uh, toxic side where you see maybe fighting. But then there's another side where you can find the good in it that's not toxic at all. That is a healing process that didn't happen here. <laughs> was it just me or was the chair out of line? Like, what the what that lady do? The chair was a bit much. But sometimes the chair is necessary <laughs> for the healing. And you know how I always talk about everything being two sides. Well, within these two sides, all is God, though. And so they have people or bloodlines in trauma. We call it, in religion, they call it the Lamb Book of Life. In spirituality, they call it the Akashic Records. Everybody has access to this memory or these Akashic Records, y'all. And so when certain things happen to other people, maybe, maybe they for so long have just been holding it in. And I'm only talking about this lifetime. Just holding in that survival mode, holding in the racism that they, that, you know, or mistreatment that they've been undergoing. Cause you got to understand, we're talking about Alabama. We're talking about pretty much the South and it, it's not common whether you in, you know, the South per se or corporate America parts of the South is not nothing out of place where you get certain people that will trigger you or treat you a certain way just because of the color of your skin. So just with that being said, you could trigger a person in this right now reality if you want to, but it's going back to the blood, the bloodline, the memory, the Akashic records, and then you open up a whole bunch of, of worms because we are the ancestors. Mm -hmm. We are the ancestors. And so what happened is lifetime after lifetime, we rinse and repeat and we come back into this realm. And when we come back up in this realm, <laughs> true, yeah, yeah. It was in, yeah, Montgomery too. Yeah. Heard it used to be a port for insane people. And then the ship called Harriet Tutman. Like, come on now. This, this. And then around water. <laughs> you got to understand the energy, the emotions that's deeply rooted in the water. You know, you think about the slave um, ships before, so to speak, and how people, some of the um, people may have jumped a bull off board in order not to be enslaved, you know? Some of the real ones that just knew that they would not be able to handle being bonded. All being in bondage, all of that energy being close to that water and then them Akashic records and then people looking looking upon, all of that triggers something. You better believe me that them people that was on the boat that was trying to get to the dock was not, was triggered um, mentally, was triggered by their blood. This was like a flashback. Then they were darker hue. They were dominant beings who didn't had lifetimes of this experience already, but not in this lifetime. They ain't experienced it probably at that level, but water, boats, blacks, whites mistreating the blacks. All of that got triggered and it all balled up in the blood. And I'm telling you, I'm not saying that, 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 yeah, yeah, let's start fighting. I'm not saying nothing negative in, 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 that, in that sense. But I'm saying you got to understand the healing process that took place. You got to understand that sometimes the chair is necessary. Sometimes jumping across out of the boat and swimming to, to go do what you got to do is necessary. Yeah, it's necessary for the healing. Sometimes you got to get gutter in your healing process. You see what I'm saying? You got to get gutter in your healing process in order for you to really purge that deep layer of the Akashic records that you just be rinsing and repeating. Sometimes that subconscious mind where the Akashic records are housed, sometimes it'll just give you a flashback of something, an experience, 
a state of being that you once was in and it's like a fire within and so so the dominant traits are often manipulated with energy with manipulated by seeing themselves suffer on the news and themselves age of aquarius all right that's what i'm talking about here they'll see themselves saturn was in pisces too oh, okay <laughs> the water sign what oh my god i didn't even think about that i didn't even think about that the water sign and then it above water <laughs> Sometimes in life we get triggered on them levels and we don't we don't see it in the physical so you got to you got to not just think about this thing as spirit uh, as a physical thing this was a spiritual thing going on this was totally spiritual this is the age of aquarius this is an age of new awakening if you pay attention our the youngsters <laughs> your pisces yeah the youngsters, they ain't about it. They ain't about the old way of doing things. And see, this is the thing, and, and, and we should be able to get together and understand this. The old schoolers, the what they call them, the baby boomers. Maybe they they used to, you know, you know, shut your mouth, and I had to take this and that and other, the third. Okay, that's the beautiful. That's what you had to do. With part of part of the reaction, the chain reaction that you had to go through. You was part of their ancestors during that time. But see, this new generation, y'all. This new generation ain't like that. Mm -mm. New generation is speaking of the little sixteen-year-old boy that jumped off of the boat. They, he, they, the new generation they ain't like that. Most of the new generation they don't want hear nothing about no what would Jesus do. I just want to let you know they don't they don't care what would Jesus do. They don't want hear nothing about just holding your mouth. No, no, because they gonna speak their truth. They don't even want to hear nothing as it as it pertains to any old school narrow-minded thinking they're gonna think for themselves they're gonna do what they want to do because it is the age of aquarius an age where we where newness is coming in to wash away that old don't sit sit down and shut up kind of energy they, they're not having it and that is necessary because as your as the ancestor writing the wrongs of itself you can't come back up into the matrix doing the same thing mm -mm, mm -mm. not if you expect change Change happens when you dare to be or do something different. And so we can't, we can't, we can't get upset with, with nobody <laughs> for wanting change. We, we can't get scared when change is nigh because a lot of things going to be changing. Uh, we, we saw it with COVID. A lot of people that, if you think about, okay, let's go back to spiritual. When you begin to think about the spiritual essence of COVID. <laughs> I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, babe. When you think about the spiritual essence of COVID, just hilarious. Yeah, yeah, hip in the age of Aquarius. So think about COVID. It was about change. It was about looking at each other. I need the whole video. True definition of yeah. F around and find out. Yeah. And and, and, <laughs> and that's another thing. So so we, we as a dominant trader, darker hued being, we didn't see so many situations where where we have been picked on lifetime after lifetime and we say nothing. But as soon as something like this happened, it gets totally wiped out. <laughs> hey my flexing. Hey Isaac. Totally wiped out. I actually posted the full video and I got a community violation on this here page. So, and they took it down. So it's really now, it's really, really hard. You had to have caught, caught it yesterday when it was kind of like circulation, circulating before the violations happened because they took it down. And that's why I was only able to put a little clip, little clip of the little boy swimming instead of the fighting clip. But when I was watching it, I was like, oh my God. But nonetheless, we have seen over and over People that maybe look like us getting hurt, being beat, being treated different kind of way just because they're in the wrong space, all of the Karens of the world. And so when stuff like this here comes out, it's like, get it off of there, get it off of there. Because, because you know what? It is my belief. <laughs> you can play it on YouTube? Oh, okay, okay, it's on YouTube. It is my belief that in this matrix, some people understand your power. Some people understand that that dominant trait, that dominant power that you have, just like we saw with that situation with the boat, just like you, you felt it, you felt it energetically. I myself have not slept. I did not go to sleep. I was online just looking like, wow, like, wow. And I, and I closed my eyes to go to sleep, but I could like, wow, because it's the energy behind it. It's the shift that took place because of this event. 
Don't sleep on this shift. Don't miss the shift now. The shift is about those white people man, now, but it is it is okay. It's okay. It's okay. But this is the age of Aquarius. A lot of people gonna get mad. So any let, let's talk about all dominant traits. We ain't talking about just black and white because this is not what I came live for. We talking about everything that was the head is turning into the tail in the age of Aquarius. <laughs> There's a shift. So so okay. Let's think about all the things that were ahead. Let's maybe think about. Let's think about maybe the government. How about how about the crashes that had happened in, 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 in that area? Let's think about maybe maybe the health system. Look at look at people becoming more health conscious, learning about um, eating right for their blood type, and not and understanding that wait a minute, hold up, they keep giving us medicine, they ain't really trying to heal us. And so a lot of people becoming more holistic in their approach. I, people come and getting meal plan. I'm doing free consultations, and the people talking, they want to know about help. They don't want nothing, know nothing about nothing else. Help. <laughs> yeah, Africa ran the French out as well as the African countries backing each other. Yes. Okay, another thing that shifted. Look at how all of these women, you know how 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 you know grandma and grandpa and them was married. You 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 scroll down on social media, they got women out there that's like living their best life, putting their energy into building their own empire, whether they single with you know, have a boyfriend or whatever, they doing them. So in the area of gender, everything is sh shifting too. So we got relationships, we got health shifting, we 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 got all things that that were heads, gender shifts, all of these things must shift because it's time. Yes, I'm a health coach. We wake we wake it up definitely, and it's a mental thing that's going on. Don't 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 ignore that. We could be getting excited about a fight if you want to, but more. More on a grand, big scheme of things spiritually, get excited about this new shift. Get excited about this new shift that is happening because it's you part of the shift. This is why you're so excited about the shift because the shift actually is connected to you by your blood. The shift is actually connected to you by your Akashic records or your Lamb Book of Life. The shift is actually connected to your memory. Mm -hmm. You remember, you are 100% of brain capacity here having a human experience at about 10% of it. But trust and believe the difference that 90, oh, your subconscious mind knows it. It knows it. Might, now, it might not be in the forefront for you to remember, but your subconscious mind, which is your Akashic Records, it knows it. And so this is why all of these shifts are happening. <laughs> and it's a proud time to be fought because you decided there was you could have stayed forth in this non-physical but you decided to be part of this Aquarius age you decided to be part of this greatness you didn't decide to sit this one out so there's work for you to do there's momentum for you to be part of yeah no nah, because 16 year old to swim is he still mad and have enough energy to fight your spirit it's definitely spiritual for him to for him to swim, losing little boots, poor baby. He lost his little boots. Should have been out of breath, but got out, got up on pants pulling him down. Got up and still was ready and still beat some butt. <laughs> now you think that was just a regular old sixteen year old? No. You think you think that 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 was only him in that water swimming? No. That's the energies of the ancestors that was guiding him to that dock, that was fighting with him based upon memory, based upon, see, all is God, y'all. We can't just say, we can't just say, oh, love and light, because that's equivalent for being like them church people talking about, oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. All is God. So if you want to accept God being this, 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 this love and light, you got to also accept God being that darkness too. In the biblical text, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So this situation was God too. And it is perfectly orchestrated for this Aquarius age to get some people's mind right. Because we are one body <laughs> of Christ, of the all, of the collective consciousness, however you Put it in your, your simulated environment in your matrix. But we are really one. Fighting against each other. Recessive and dominant. Yeah. 
And we just got to remember collectively who we are. But in the midst of us remembering, they're going to have some chaos because one side ain't going to want to remember. One side ain't going to want to embrace it. One side going to have a little trauma. One, one side going to be butt hurt. But in the process, we in the Aquarius age are remembering. So what happens is those people that don't want to partake, they die out. Just like COVID, going back to COVID. It wasn't about people dying because of the health. Come on, energetically, spiritually, those people died because they wasn't keeping up with the frequency. This is an energetic thing here. You wasn't keep, you can't keep up with the frequency of the this simulated environment, you die. Because the frequency of the energy gonna, gonna keep on going. You're going to get in alignment with this frequency right in here. And if you get too much of hate, get too much of stagnated energy, too much of sickness, they'll call it sickness and disease. Yeah, you got to be sick or diseased because you ain't keeping up with this here energy right here. You lose this, you die out. And so when you die out, you, you become one again with the all. The energy is not destroyed. It's simply transformed back to the all. And so then that lifetime after you done died out and came back into the all, oh, you better keep up. Because if not, guess what? You're going to die out again. And you're going to keep on getting your mind right again because we're expanding. <laughs> yeah. Sickness, sickness ain't nothing but blockages. Yeah. We expand. It's the people that's this is like this here illustration I was just saying. The people that's blocking and don't want to become part of the oneness. You got to die. <laughs> you got to die. So in this, in this situation... There is good. It might seem like a whole bunch of chaos, but it is working out for the greater good of the all. No thing just happened. All things work out for the greater good of the all, of the all, of the all collective consciousness, of the oneness, of the I amness. Yeah. Yeah. Frequency blockages, meridianic pathway. Yep. In the body. In the body. Same thing. Just as within, so without. So if it's inside of here with your frequency blockages, Guess what? You're not going to be able to keep up with this frequency of the collective. You got to pay attention to this here kind of thing, y'all. So, because sometimes we, we get so caught up into, okay, now we're going to go buy a chair. Come on, that's physical. We're going to buy earrings that are made out of the chairs. That, that's physical. The t-shirt that's made out of a, they got a chair on the t-shirt and the hoodie. That's physical. Understand, get in position. Know the part energetically that you should be playing. And that's the part of you being wise as a serpent. Mm -hmm. But yet it's gentle as a dove. But see, a serpent is still sting. Just because he wise don't mean he ain't going to sting. <laughs> the, energy is, see, the energy of a serpent is still conscious. A serpent has that all-seeing eye, that third eye. A serpent is a reptilian in the physical reality. Yes, it is. <laughs> just like us. Just like us accompanied with our third eye. Just like us having a soul. A serpent. A serpent will move to the rhythm of beat. Having soul. It's soulful. Be wise as a serpent. Understand the biblical text. Understand the parable. What it's saying to you. Be wise. Be wise as a serpent. But yet it's gentle as a dove. Because a serpent know when to move, when to strike, and when not to. Right? Because a serpent is in tune. You got to be in tune to the energies and the frequency. And that, mean, that, 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 that means if your blood can be quickened over watching something, experiencing something, can quicken you to your Akashic records, then there's other things that can stimulate and quicken you to your Akashic records as well. Such as diet, such, such as you staying away from, 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 from chaos and being able to focus. Yeah, such as being outside in the sun, being around that same type of water, being around water and hearing the healing sounds of the water. Yeah, the elements, the earth, being outside, all of this play a part because you're connected to all of these different energies that are in your blood. The biblical text was teaching us about our bloodline. I'm a bloodline, bloodline connection catalyst. I teach you about your bloodline because it's important. It's activating at this time. It is the perfect time for you to get to know yourself in its totality. Because we are in an age where we have these frequencies that are quickening our body and activating us. And there are going to be some people in the physical reality 
that's going to be quickened and they ain't going to be activated to know God's self. Okay. When we get quickened, everybody ain't going to be activated to God's self. Some are going to be activated to chaos. Because everybody don't stem from the same bloodline. Don't stem from the same place. So, so in, 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 in days and in months and years to come, I'm letting you know now, this is the beginning of a new environment, a new frequency. And it's not a chaotic one. It's the one for you to remember yourself. It's the one for you to expose yourself to more of your Akashic records, more of your mindset. More of your superpower. And whether you want to believe it or not, things like the sun, things like the frequencies, things like water, things like sound, things like music, all of these things are there for you to edify your body of Christ, to edify you, to wake yourself up. And, and so we get to a place where we'll say things like, oh, they got the jab. They gone. They done. No, baby, there shall be nothing by no means that's going to stop you from waking yourself up based upon your blood type. Ain't going to be no thing. Even I, I myself, I myself talk about eating right for your blood type so you can have clarity, so it won't hurt as bad, so you won't feel die off effects and different things like that. But I know this one thing. This is a matrix with physical. Diet is physical. There's a spiritual realm that is 99.999% of all that there is. And even if your diet is chaotic, on that day when energy is pulsated in this realm, great enough to quicken others, you're going to wake up too. But you, you, want, you want to wake yourself up by free will instead of forcefully because it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt the other way. <laughs> it's going to hurt the other way. The Aquaman is not on TikTok. The Aquaman is 16 years old. He on Facebook. And his name is Aaron Randolph. And he ain't really on Facebook. It's his parents just telling about his, um, his email address. And his cash app because some people wanted to give and buy him some, some tennis shoes or boots or whatever because he had lost one in the water and he kicked the other one off and he and they wanted to donate to him. Yeah, but he's not on TikTok though. You're welcome. Go to Facebook. Aaron is spelled A-A-R-E-N Randolph and you'll find him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you healing? Caster Packs? Caster Packs. But what kind of healing? Externally for fibroids, maybe. Externally only. Castor oil inside is not beneficial for your blood type. It's not beneficial for it. It's overkill inside of you. You got to get your highly beneficial oils. I, I have meal plans available on my website for eating right for your blood type to activate your dormant DNA. Because all of this that's going on, this is another reason why you needed to be activated. Because some people, the they got people out but they're buying earrings, and it ain't about buying earrings. It's about you having ears where you could hear, where you have eyes, and you can um, see. For inflammation, for inflammation, you need the um, at-home herbal potion that's available with your meal plan. Inflammation, you need omega trees, so that's what the at-home herbal potion is all about. Consuming your omega trees in order to bring down the inflammation, bring down high blood pressure. Everybody that tries the at-home herbal potion. That's available on my website. They high blood pressure go down. They get off of their high blood pressure medication. But that's just the people that try it and do it. Some people buy it and look at it and don't even do it. But it's available on my website. The link is in my bio. The bio at the top. That the picture of me at the top. If you click on that, you'll get to a bio and you'll see my website address. It's saltoftheearthpub.org. And when you get to my website, let me see if you could do see it over here. Wait, I might have to take this off. If you can see it on here, let me take the effects off of there so you can see. Okay, there we go. It looks like this here. So when you get to my website, these black balls at the top are links for eating right for your blood type to activate your dormant DNA. Yeah, so you can have ears and you can hear, mm -hmm. eyes and you can see because your gut and your brain are intertwined. This is why we have gut feelings. Yeah. And so you want to clear that, that, that pathway up for your Akashic records because Aquarius age, this is why some people woke and some people are not. 
because they still they still they have an issue see when you have parasites in your gut and they in your head then you don't have mental clarity you don't have the attention span you you you, you probably have brain fog because your in intestinal tract has a whole bunch of parasites up in there microbiome diversity is out of balance your digestive enzymes out of gone hydrochloric acid missing yeah yeah yeah, gut and brain access is very important. Okay, I got some of your detox uh, months ago. Okay, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So use the detox, sustain detox. Use that. And there's something that you don't start and stop because let me tell you about parasites. You start a parasite cleanse and stop on day 15. What happens is the die off effect from the parasites that's inside of you, they're multiplying. They're trying to stay alive. So now you're going to stop. And then now you're giving them a chance to grow. You give them a chance to grow now when you stop. It depends upon your blood type for the peptide ulcers. Is that a blood type? Oh, we're talking about ulcers? Use a 55. What's your blood type? You stop taking sustained detox and call yourself, you don't want tired or whatever. Now the parasite's growing. You done pissed them off. Now they doubled up on you. Now what? You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So don't start, don't talk, don't start sustaining detox <laughs> and just and stop. You you and just start eating regular food again and get some more parasites. Oh no, you don't want to do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't you ever do that. <laughs> no, just name it good. Um, oh, okay. That, okay, you just named them. Okay. So yeah, so these, you're right, those type of um gut issues, like you say, peptic ulcers, diabetes, that had everything to do with diet. So now they got parasites up in the air. They don't have attention span. They got brain fog. They could they could never swim across across the water to get to the dock. No, they ain't getting in that water. No, they would have drowned. They couldn't breathe in that water. They wouldn't have been able to fight and and, and and have strength and endurance. What? Not with the parasites. So we really gotta we really gotta work on ourselves. We gotta really work on it. That's like a that was like a bell. So we're saying, ding, 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 ding. This is the age of Aquarius. Oh, oh, is everybody aware? Ding, 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 ding. And then the beauty of it is that we are powerful beyond our understanding. That when, when, when one move, we move. We are so powerful. But yet sometimes we pay attention to the, to the nothingness, the foolishness, the meaningless, the relationship that we can't even get together about. You know, the, 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 the low frequency things that we, we, we give our attention to. But if we begin to focus on ourselves and, and our well-being and our health and wellness, we'll thrive. Because we'll be sending another signal. Because that was a signal, a, a signal that was going out into the basses. That we tired. And all the beautiful thing about getting tired is that's when people change. That energy was just sent out to the masses that we tired. We tired. We tired. We tired. And I, I just love that part about it because I understand this even as it pertains to health and wellness. I tell people when, when I'm talking about health and wellness, I say, look, don't, don't, don't order none of my stuff. I need to know two things. I need to know if you're tired yet because it hurts bad enough. And I need to know if you have a strong reason why. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because if not, if not, you ain't about to change nothing about your health. If you won't have, if you don't have a reason why and you ain't tired. Most people that come to me, they got they gotta have at least some kind of high blood pressure, some peptic ulcers. They gotta have a leaky gut. They gotta have cancer. They gotta have a uh, twitching, the gout, fibromyalgia, tumor. They gotta have endometriosis, anemic, low high blood pressure, the, the thyroid hyper or hypo. They gotta have something, and that's the recipe. But when, when you get really, really tired, that's when you're going to do something. Just like that event yesterday. Them people was tired. That security guard was tired. He threw that hat up just letting everybody know, I'm tired. I quit. And remember yesterday? No, 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 on Friday. Friday, I was saying, 
you got when you get tired, even though you had no frequency, you're gonna lose something. You think you don't have nothing to lose, but you still gotta make a sacrifice. That security guard sacrificed his job. He was like, I'm tired. I'm not even thinking about this job because I gotta defend myself. He had to sacrifice that job. In his tired state of being. That little boy, that 16 year old boy that had to swim. It goes back to the lesson that I taught y'all on Friday. That little boy felt tired. Oh, he felt so tired. So, so he had to sacrifice his boots. He had to sacrifice getting wet. He had to sacrifice and take that swim. Because in his mind, in his Akashic records, in his present day reality, he too was tired. Don't think he ain't never been through nothing. So that is always going to be the process you go through things you gotta get real real tired you have to have you a strong reason why and then you gonna do something outside of that don't don't look at my website don't come over here i ain't got nothing to talk to you about because you ain't tired yet you ain't tired yet they all come from the gut you right about that healthy enough yeah, our ancestors were tired, so now we're tired. Yes, and so now we are the ancestors tired from that realm to this realm. So you know it's time to make the shift in this here realm, in this reality. They were tired in another reality that didn't get the progress that this reality here is getting them the progress in. And then there's another simulated a reality, and then another, until we get higher and higher and remember that we are coming. Everything is perfectly orchestrated for our becoming. Everything. We got to get tired, though. Get tired in your mind. Get tired of how you, how, you, how you take care of yourself if you're not up to par with your health. Get tired of that brain fall. Get tired of not being at neutral and above as far as your energy is concerned. As far as your feelings are concerned. Get so tired. Get tired because that means if you're tired... You're going to connect with your inner being. You're going to have a relationship. The most important relationship that you could ever have is going to be the relationship that you have with yourself. Because you can't, you can't do stuff like that. You can't swim and go help your reflection. At least you have a relationship with yourself. You, 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 can't, you ain't good for your reflections. At least you have a relationship with yourself because that means your cup ain't full. <sighs> If your cup ain't full, you, you, can't, you can't give nobody your overflow. So get in position because we're in the age of Aquarius. And everybody with a recessive or dominant trait, whether black or white, hmm, needs to be tired. Needs to be tired. Because this is not about separation. Love. Love heals all. Love for self first. What is the greatest commandment of them all? That you love the Lord thy God with all your heart. The kingdom of God is within you, within you, within you, within you, within you, within me. But then what's the second one? That you love your neighbor as yourself. It's still bringing you back up in here because life happens through us. We are the operant powers in this realm. But you got to practice self-love, taking care of your avatar self, taking care of your mindfulness, taking care of your body, your thoughts, your will, your determination. That brain fog should be a thing of the past. That reckless diet should be a thing of the past. If COVID didn't take you out, they got other things that's going to wipe some, some that's just low frequency out. And don't, it's nothing personal. It's an energetic thing that's happening. For you to understand that you are energy, frequency, and vibration. Are you in tune? Are you in tune? <laughs> Where did you get this wisdom from? Because I'm in tune. From my inner being. From my Akashic records. The same thing that I'm teaching you all to get in tune with. Your Akashic records. That something said voice. And religion they call it the Holy Ghost. And spirituality they call it their inner being. Or their ancestor. It walks with you. It talks with you. But oftentimes in your journey you have ears and you can't hear. Because you ain't tired yet. 
you ain't work on yourself yet. But you know where Beyonce gonna be. You know what's going on with Lizzo. But do you know what's going on in your bloodline? <laughs> yeah, I've been perfect, I'm V. Thank you for being here. Do you know healthy what's going on in your bloodline? Do you know your blood type? Do you know the highly beneficial foods that you need to be eating for your blood type? Do you know your personality for your blood type? Do you know your compatibility partner for your blood type? Do you know the best job for your blood type? Do you know? Because all of this is encoded in the matrix. If you knew yourself, you would know this stuff. Do you know your shadow work? That's pretty much the part of you that you don't want other people to see. But it's a part of you that's kind of like a weakness that you got to work on because we all have a weakness. Do you know what yours is? Are you working on it? That If you don't, that means you haven't been focusing on you. And if you focus on you, your energy can ignite other people to do the same and the same and the same because the shift has started. You are part of the shift. It's like a domino effect. When I move, you move, and then we all tumble over. But you got to make the move because life is happening through you and your simulated environment. You have an environment over there. I got an environment over there. But guess what? The collective consciousness is all of our environments. We all actually energetically are singing to the same song, trying to get to the same place. I don't care if you're trying to get high, if you're on antidepressants, if you're drinking alcohol, it doesn't matter. You're just trying to get higher. The higherness is the collective consciousness, the one. There's many paths to it. <laughs> and everybody just trying to get higher. If you or somebody you know needs to hear this information, share this video. I'm a blood type connection catalyst. On my website, I have meal plans for your blood type. Weight loss sheet codes for your blood type. Teaching you your personality by your blood type. I'm doing this, I do this simply because of the spiritual essence that's behind it because I understand mindfulness is all. Mindfulness trumps all of this. But there are so many people that are low, at low frequency that I like to give them the coding of the matrix because the coding of the matrix as it pertains to food, as it pertains to other people, as it pertains to, to jobs and different things like that is important for those people is in low frequency to sift through the codings first. That's just like, that's just like, okay, in lieu of that, if I tell all of those people, oh, you God, they'll be like, what? No, but I'm sick though. Will you help me? No, and I just say, no, but you God, just say that you are the I am this. Believe that, know that. Go past believing it until you know it. And they'd be like, well, you're not really helping me. Because they're too low to hear the fact that their mind trumps all of the things that I'm giving them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jamie. They, they too low. They're too low. There's somebody over here, OB, says, does it raise your credit score? There are bloodlines that you connect with. That'll help you win it as, as it pertains to financial gain. Just like there are bloodlines out there that you will lose everything, including your business. And you have the craziest, lowest, impossible low credit score just because you mix it and match it with them on a financial decision. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because bloodline matters in the matrix as it pertains to all. Because the bloodline in the matrix is a footprint to your dormant DNA that connects you to source. Collective consciousness. It's like your little signature. So yes, it does. And all of that is available on my website. The website is saltoftheearthpub.org. The link is in my bio. It's a blood type connection course. There are meal plans on there for blood type. There's uh, chat work, workout challenges for your blood type. There's calendars for your blood types and journals for your blood type. Everything on, there's herbal potions for your blood type. Everything on the website is pertaining to the blood because there's power in the blood. And our bloodline has begun activation 
for those some of y'all y'all gonna get lost in the sauce and y'all not really gonna know yourself you're gonna be activated and it's almost like you're activated and you 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 walking around with superpowers and you oops you hitting a superpower don't know how to work it don't know how to function in this realm <clears throat> because you don't know yourself just yet sit with yourself and get to know yourself because the shift has started and this is the only reason why I talk about health and wellness. Because of this shift. Because I understand the spiritual essence of what's going on in this age of Aquarius. This is the only reason why I have a health channel. And I have a, a Goddess Just Be channel. Then I put a third channel called Goddess Just Be Jazzy. Simply because I want people as it pertains to relationships. To deep build a relationship with themselves first. I want people as it pertains to this health channel to get to know health and wellness for themselves so they could gain some mental clarity. I want people to know on this mindfulness channel that all is mine and ye are God's. And life happens through you. All of this, this is the Holy Trinity that I'm working on just in case you didn't peep game. <laughs> The Holy Trinity that I'm working on within you to activate you no matter where you are, to pick you up where you are and bring you into this Aquarius age equipped for whichever you need to process that you are the it, that you are the I amness, <laughs> that you are the savior that you've been looking for. And it all starts with you. It all starts with you. Yeah. Yeah. Reese. Some of y'all know this already. But some of y'all back there, up there at the top, y'all looking at me wondering, wait, wait, what is she clearly saying? For those of you, your next step, I'm glad you're interested enough to, to listen to the video. I'm glad you have the attention span that you ain't left after three seconds. But your next step is to get to know yourself and your bloodline. Get to know yourself and your bloodline. I offer consultations on my website. Matter of fact, I've been doing free um, consultations today. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of them though. But today, I, I sent out an um, email. Check, make sure you sign up to my newsletter. Some days I offer free consultations. That's how much I want to give back to make sure that you get to know yourself. Go to my website and sign up for that newsletter. You're missing out on some blessings just by being in the newsletter. Once you sign up, you begin to even get training based upon your blood type and within the newsletter. That's free for those that are ready. The teacher only shows up when the student is ready, though. You're amazing. You're helping me with confirmation. Yeah. Yeah, because you ask for it. Asking you shall receive. You ask through your thought. Your thoughts ask for you. That's the accent. And the universe just yields to you the desires of your heart. That's how whole you are at being God in physical form. You get what you want. And you are always asking via your habitual thoughts. That's why mindfulness is so important. People want to jump on the conscious bandwagon of being conscious, saying that they woke. But when you're really conscious, you're conscious of your beingness, of your thought. You're not a creator by default anymore when you're conscious. You're a deliberate creator. Thought by thought by thought by thought, you are creating your reality. Create something Amazing. Create what you said you was going to create when you were in the non-physical. Remember that gift that you said that you was going to bring forth to the world? We waiting on it. But you got to wake up first. You got to take care of your avatar self first. You got to realize that you are the same one playing the game. And you're also the same one observing yourself play this game. And then that don't stop there. You're also the creator of the game. Because this means that you exist in multiple realities. But when you're in your physical and you just sleep.com, you don't know this. And you think people like me are telling you something crazy. You think I'm crazy. <laughs> you think I'm crazy. You think I'm weird. You call me, you, 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 you say I'm blaspheming in, against your holy ghost. What are you talking about? These, these are realms that we all partake in every day, but you know nothing of it because you don't know yourself just yet. And I come here every day, Monday through Friday, wash day and everything. <laughs> 
It don't matter. I come here every day to pour life inside of you. To tell you how great you are. To teach you how to bob and weave through the bull crap of life. To keep teach you how to remain focused. With the knowingness that you are God. That you are God. In physical form. You're so powerful at being God that you're creating shifts. A shift like what happened yesterday that's shaking the entire universe. The whole matrix can feel you right now. They can feel you so much that there's a sense of pride that's going on just because their skin look a little certain way. They feel you so much there's, because there's a sense of, of peace in their heart just because they saw a certain thing. They feel you so much that they, they cheer you on even though they don't even know your name when they see you swimming across waters. They feel you so much that when you just simply throw your head up in the sky, they understand your pain and your struggle from survival mode because they're connected with you. That's how powerful we are. And we always have been. And the shift of this Aquarius age is here to remind everybody that don't, that, 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 that know, but want to fool around and, and find out the hard way. It's a shift to get them to, 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 to no way, hold up. Touch not my prophet. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do them no harm. You don't, you don't, you don't want, you don't want a wall to break out. You don't want them really to tap into all of their Akashic records, now do you? I don't think you're ready for that in the twinkling of an eye. I don't think you're ready for it. So don't play with it. And so this process, it may take some more years. It may take some more time for some people who ain't ready to wake up to their inner being, their greatness. But it has already started. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Miss Lorraine. It has already started. So you can't. You 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 can't fake this funk. You feel this. I don't care how recessive you are, you feel this because you're energy too. It's a spiritual thing. But is your spirit ready? Are you ready for the larger part of you and your soul? Make sure you're ready, y'all. Make sure you're ready. That's it. That's my message. That's my message for today. I just want to make sure you're ready. Because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Any other questions before I get up out of here? Any other questions? Health and wellness questions? My website address is Salt of the Earth. Pub.org. I am offering you personalized guidance, inspiration, education based upon your blood type, meal plans, highly beneficial foods, full savoy, weight loss cheat goals, mindfulness approaches for its inner healing, holistic approaches, mental health, consultations dream interpretation, anything to bring you from survival mode to tap you into your higher consciousness, I got it. Go ahead with your question, babe. Go ahead. Thank you. I'm grateful for you too. I got it. I offer this as far as personalized me, um, mental health for you, personalized meal plans based upon your blood type, not that something I'm saying that you follow my approach, herbalistic remedies for your blood type, Financial and romantic connection for your blood type. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe and stay connected. If you have a question, ask to get an understanding. I love you too, Isaac. With a T, stop constipation. Yes, all of the herbal products are going to stop constipation. Yeah. Because they are all they all have a whiff of detoxing abilities. See, they're all high in one. I could just say one way is going to do it. They're all high in many other ways, but one way, for example, magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body, and every one of my detoxes, whether we're talking about a tea, the sustained detox, whether we're talking about um, the alchemist oil, 
these things are high in magnesium. Being that magnesium is a detoxifier and it is needed in every organ in the body, is detoxing those organs at a cellular level. Once you detox those, then the bulk of stool, the, the, the bulk of stool has to come out. All you have to do is drink your water. And so for whatever amount of pounds you weigh, you divide your pounds, your weight, divided by two. And that answer is the amount of ounces of water that you have to drink every day, especially while you're on a detox. Because you will have a die-off effect and it'll make you feel a little sicky if them parasites and all of them cellular waste particles are sitting up in there and you ain't drinking water to flush them out. So that means if you weigh 100 pounds, 100 divided into 2 is 50. That means you need to be drinking 50 ounces of water every day, especially while you're on your fast. What's good for blood type A? Everything on the meal plan. The link is in my bio. I laid it out. I got your nuts, your seeds, your fruits, your vegetables, your herbs, your spices, your condiments. Mm -hmm. All on your meal plan. But roughly, not meat. I could tell you that thing. You are awesome. Oh, thank you. So are you, Reese. You are welcome. You're welcome. Not no meat for no eggs because eggs have a delicate yet sensitive, delicate slash sensitive digestive system. They have the least amount of hydrochloric acid and they cannot break down heavy foods, heavy meats. They can eat seafoods though, but they don't have not one highly beneficial meat. Like beef and pork and chicken. That's what I'm talking about like that. None of that is highly beneficial for no egg. But there are fruits and vegetables that you have to make sure that are highly beneficial to heal that gut and to replenish that microbiome diversity. You can't just wild out and just say, oh, okay, well, she just told me don't eat meat and now I'm just going to go wild out and eat this fruit and this fruit and this vegetable and this vegetable. No, because fruits and vegetables aren't created equally either. You have fruits and vegetables out there, B in a blood type A, B, A, B, or O, that if you consume them, you develop bacteria overgrowth, you'll get inflammation, you won't have the digestive enzymes because they are inflammatory because of your blood type. When your blood and the food you eat connect, it's a chemical reaction, God, because you're God. You connect and create with everything by every fiber of your being. It's a creation process. It's a connection. It's an energetic process that's happening. When your blood, that means when you put it on your tongue and the food, I don't care if it's the fruit that you eat. If I, as a blood type B right now, were to eat a tomato, tomatoes, but, but no, you got to get the chair count. No, 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 no. I said a tomato. Instant inflammation because as a blood type B, I should be avoiding that. I don't care if your grandma grew it. This is the coding in the matrix. And see, a lot of us don't know stuff like that. So we'll just go in the kitchen to just <laughs> eating stuff on the avoid list. Cooking with the avoid list oils that run rancid and cause us to have fatty livers. <laughs> Digesting it and then swallowing it down with avoid list type drinks more information and then we wonder how we got the leaky gut a hole in the gut from the inflammation from the foods that we were supposed to be avoiding that's how how we get autoimmune disease because your body is pretty much fighting because of all of this inflammation how we get the gout because that seafood that you're eating is supposed to be avoided by your blood type the chemical reaction is all about the blood it's all about the blood A, B positive is, is similar to the A's. They take A tolerances and B tolerances and intolerances. That was That's what makes them an A, B. But they, they, they like hydrochloric acid too. Yeah, they, they pretty much brothers and sisters, the A's and the A's. And guess what? Those are the ones that really need to download the, the meal plan more than anybody because they're the ones actually and, 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 I, and I never really like to say this because it's, it's, it's kind of like a negative approach and I don't want to scare anybody out there hmm. but the A's or kind of like at the very bottom tier as it pertains to cancer AB is right above that 
because of this lack of hydrochloric acid. Because you do realize the hydrochloric acid is the thing that breaks down your food. And if it's not, there's mold sitting up in here. There's parasites sitting up in here because ain't nothing getting broke down. So for those A's and those A-B's out there that like to be all cute, oh, I'm going to just have to die with my meat. Okay. Because that's what's really going to happen. Okay, you said it. And I'm not trying to give you no fear, baby. I don't operate from a place of fear because fear creates. I want you to see how important this here is. This, this thing is a coding. This is a coding. So all you A's out there, now the AB, you only make up 4% of the United States population. So I'm even surprised you asked that question because normally an AB don't never be in here. You, believe it or not, or Christ conscious energy. You have the Christ conscious bloodline. <laughs> Christ conscious personality but your diet your diet has to be pure with your highly beneficial foods you gotta you gotta have your healthy salts in an effort to increase your hydrochloric acid so you won't be at the breaking point of having none you have to every day make sure you are eating like you're drinking like lemon water every day A's and every day AB's to get rid of the mucus because your body produces mucus in your sleep at night. Forget about the diet. If the diet is chaotic, you didn't produce mucus in the sleep at night because your body does it naturally. And if the diet the day before was chaotic and it was just mucus, now you got double mucus and you hawking up every morning spitting. Weakened immune system, probably overweight. Then on top of that, y'all, y'all most often did not introverts and shy, introverts and shy of people. Mm -hmm. Based upon your blood, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaac, no, Isaac the been true this year, but Isaac is an old with hydro with hydrochloric acid. So when they don't eat right for their blood type either, they, they get they get the peptic ulcers and stuff. It, it ain't there's nobody that's exempt from this. But it's all about the blood. You're gonna obey and respect this here bloodline. You're gonna respect this avatar, or you ain't gonna be able to exist in it. Because you said before you came forth in physical form that you would. You knew you you picked all this, you chose your avatar, how you was gonna look, your trauma, your parents, your personality. You chose all of that. And you decided to go on a journey of unfoldment to remember all of that. You've been asking and asking and you run into somebody like me. Because you've already been asking the questions. And when you ask, you receive. And you receive somebody like me to tell it to you. But you sit here and you ain't tired enough. So you just want to know that one thing. But what about the drinks? What about the oils? I just want to do the oils today. You ain't tired. <laughs> you ain't tired. No oil ain't going to stop you from that chaotic diet, from that hole in your gut. No oil. Well, what about, what, what, kind of, what kind of fruit you think? I think all areas that's on the meal plan you should pay attention to. Because if I give you just one of the oils, well, what about, okay, I gave you your beneficial oil. Well, what about the stuff that you need to avoid that you don't even know nothing about and you still consuming it that's in your house right now? That you go to the store and you know we be on rinse and repeat from a program. We go to the store every week or every two weeks or so and we're getting the same thing. So you bringing home the thing that's destroying your gut every week, but you don't know it. So the meal plan is, is designed for you to know that too. And you just to tell you just one thing. It's to tell you everything to get to know who you are. Yeah. <sighs> What's considered healthy salt? Bishop, healthy salt is um, gray. It has color. It has hue. Gray Celtic salt. Gray. And it's, guess what else? I was just talking about magnesium. Guess what it's high in? Magnesium. I deal with cancer patients. With peak people with cancer and, 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 you know, sickness. Even them old people with the hips. With the broken hips, when they all brittle, when they got the hump back and they fall and they break the hip because they calcified, but they don't have no magnesium. 
you fall and break their hip and you just done. That's just it. People with cancer too be low in magnesium. When you got a cold, you low in magnesium. When you eat white sugar, you strip all of your magnesium. When you drink your liquor, and we love some liquor, don't we? We just deplete all the magnesium in our body. So we be walking around magnesium deficient. Gray Celtic salt is high in magnesium. And it is the salt that replenishes this thing called hydrochloric acid, which them A's and them AB's are low on. If an A and an AB eating white toxic salt and you get them in your potato chips out there, you get them in your fast food out there, you're getting your white toxic salt at home. You should, guaranteed, should have gray Celtic salt. Gray, meaning they have color, meaning they have minerals. Hue, color means minerals like force. White salt has two minerals only, sodium and chloride, right? Gray Celtic salt has 80 plus minerals to electrify, going back to you being energy, frequency, and vibration to electrify your body. Yeah. To replenish your magnesium. And you put it, you can put it on the tip of your tongue and, and just like I was telling you earlier, your blood and the food that you eat create a chemical reaction. So when it go on your tongue and get into your bloodstream, it's creating a chemical reaction and it is restoring at a cellular level the magnesium back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we got work to do, y'all. We got work to do. So the great Celtic salt, you can get it from Amazon. If you don't want to go to the grocery store, get it from Amazon. Get it in your system. You need it if you're A, especially if you're A and AB. Everybody needs it, though. I'm just saying that they are on the lower end of it all. Because they like hydrochloric acid. Y'all hear me today? So those of you who are ready, and when I say ready, like I mean, like I meant earlier, if you have a reason why, why you want to be healthy and you also tired, that means you're ready. For those of you that are ready, go to my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. No, it's C-E-L-T-I-C. -E That's how you spell it. Let me let me get it for you. Let me get it for you so you know exactly what it is. If you go along, Bishop, I'm going to go get it. Sold out. What you talking about sold out? Something on my website sold out? Maybe they bind it up. Let me go get the salt for Bishop. I'm coming. It's right here. I'm coming. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Here you go. On Amazon. Oh, it sold out on Amazon. It looked like this one here. You see this? Gray. South it. Salt. Mine is light gray. The words probably backwards on the screen, but this is saying light gray. Celtic, C-E-L-T-I-C, salt. All right? And so I have, I have the kind to put in a um, salt grinder. So mine are bigger granules, like, right? You could get the fine one. Or the one that you put in the grinder. But it's gray. It's gray salt. You see it? Gray. It's not white. It has color. Now they have a pink salt. Pink Himalayan sea salt. It's good too. Pink Himalayan sea salt is... I bought it from... Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Pink Himalayan sea salt is high in potassium. A and B, I ain't telling you to get that kind. I know about the pink. You got yours somewhere else? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I know about pink, but A and B, I mean A and A, B, you need gray. Pink is high in potassium. You, you, you need magnesium, though. Gray is high in magnesium. So if I were to tell you which one, hey, enlightened one. It'll be gray. 
because this is going to help you replenish your hydrochloric acid to help you break down your food better. If you do nothing, at least get you the right salt in your body because you need your electrolytes. You need some hydrochloric acid to end the magnesium that this here salt provides for you. Blood type A and AB. Everybody, really. And I, on my one of my pages, on my healthy page, this page here is pinned at the top, how I manipulate my, my water. Each bottle of water, I manipulate the bottle of water that you get from the grocery store. Make sure it's spring. This would be a good starting point for the A's and the A-B's. Really, everybody, because I'm a B and I do it. By putting a pinch of that gray Celtic salt in your water and a pinch of Bob's Red Meal baking soda in your water. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. You also need this here in the lining of your gut. So the lining of your gut, like say for example, you had leaky gut syndrome and your food was falling out, is simply because the lining, which is made of sodium bicarbonate, has a hole in it. So in order to build up that barrier again and heal and get that um, healed and sealed and, and get the fungus out of the way, because your, your body, just like you break a nail or get a cut or scratch, your body can reverse and heal itself from that, right? So sodium bicarbonate, which is an antifungal, and it also increases the alkalinity of your water. Inside of your water will make your water more alkaline, so parasites and stuff can't leave in that environment. Also, the salt will replenish the hydrochloric acid and provide minerals. Now you got, now you got your own charged alkaline water that's highly beneficial for your blood type. You got hydrogen, oxygen, you got antifungal with the salt, baking soda, you got alkalinity with the baking soda, and you got a plethora of minerals. That's what that's what the um the 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 what they call that? Evion water, turn Evion water around. You got silica on Evion on the back of it. You're gonna have the magnesium, you're gonna have the sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, you're gonna have um electrolytes, which is the salt. That, that's pretty much spring water that you just manipulated and made it beneficial for you to heal you. Yeah. Yeah. My doctor always says that I'm always low in potassium. Yeah. Okay. 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 Potassium is the pink one then. The potassium is the pink. Mm -hmm. But you could, like when you're cooking, you could use both of them. Use a little bit of pink and a little bit of gray. But don't use the white. The white is why people have high blood pressure. The white is why everybody's out of a balance and, and, and everybody having thick, tacky blood. Because it's lack, lacking its electrolytes or its life force. Remember, the white only have two minerals. The colored ones have 80 plus minerals. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it, greatness. Hey, beautiful. Hey, Jazz. Thank you for being here. I mean, that is what I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it helps. Can you use both in your water? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. You use both of them in your water. Both of them. Just a pinch. Don't overdo it now. Don't overdo it. Just a pinch. I'm talking about like like you. I just showed you this here. Granule is kind of fat. So this is my pinch here. This is my pinch if you got the granules. So if you had the little bitty, you know, fine particles, you would just be kind of like doing like that. Like two times to put the little particles in here. In the same way with your sodium bicarbonate. And, and keep in mind, I ain't talking about no, um, no, what do you call that? Arm and hammer, baking soda. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Bob's Red Meal baking soda. It ain't going to be no 99 cent. It's going to be probably about $11 for a bag of it, a little small bag on Amazon. But it's Bob, B-O-B, -B, Red, R-E-D, Meal, M-I-L-L, -L, Bob's Red Meal baking soda. A pinch of that and a pinch of salt, water. Every last bottle of water like this. But this here water, don't buy no reverse osmosis one. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't buy no distilled one. It needs to be spring. It needs to be spring. And then you manipulate the spring water like this here. Y'all got it? Y'all got that part? It has to be spring. Okay? That's a beautiful start. That's a beautiful start. Learn things like that. Start start there. If you ain't if you ain't sick and tired of being sick and tired, at least start there with your water. 
If you ain't ready for the meal plan, if you ain't ready for you, your beneficial foods and what you need to be avoiding, this will help you out a little bit. But then when you put the thing that you need to avoid on that tongue, when your blood <laughs> and that food that you're supposed to be avoiding get connected, then you're going to be on fire again. So you might as well have some kind of minerals in your water if you're just going to wild out and do whatever you want to. That's what they say in New Orleans. Do what you want to hang on the corner. Okay, well, go ahead on you do that. And may the force be with you still. <laughs> Yeah, God is studies say human is so contains toxins, mercury. Yeah, all of them do. All of them do though. All of all of them so have they have trace minerals of, of the things that are not beneficial. All of them do. All of them. Celtic is supposed to be finer and richer in in a different area where they mine it and but you gotta realize that periodic table of elements is us. And so when you're dealing with a salt that has high amount of magnesium, magnesium, going back to being able to detox the body, magnesium is detoxing the body anyway of those trace minerals of the things that, that you don't need or not serve you. We got gold inside of us. We got silver inside of us. We, we, we have all of these different elements because the periodic table of elements was just a study of us. <laughs> Kemet, chemistry, Kemet us we were just studying ourselves we starred us there you go we starred us hey queen yeah it's been a while she said we just uh, starred us so of course we're going to have those part particles because from dust thou walk and dust thou shall return the earth have all of that the sun have these different minerals and stuff that's not gonna that's not gonna harm us it's not when we're eating the right diets, like when we're consuming the high amounts of magnesium, for example, in our water, that stuff, just we just urinate that stuff out. We're eating our cilantro. Cilantro gets rid of heavy metals and mercury. Our herbs, according to our blood type that's on our highly beneficial list, it gets rid of heavy metals and mercury and things. They could take out those um, COVID shots. It could, it could expel that out of our bodies. Our food is our medicine. Medicine. So you just manipulate your water like that and eat right for your blood type, and I promise you, you won't have no no problem with no mercury and and, and, and lead and all of that stuff. You no, know, you ain't gonna have that problem. <laughs> but that's a beautiful observation, though. I, I've heard of that, but no. Yeah, that's what I was just talking about. That's what we were just talking about. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, I was just just telling them, you know. Pink Himalayan has more potassium. The Celtic salt has uh, more magnesium. If you are low on potassium, go for the pink. If I were low on potassium, I honestly would do both of them though. Some pink on my food and some gray on my food. I would do both of them because I know that that Celtic salt has a lot of magnesium. And I need that magnesium to detox my body. So there you have it. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. And then I would actually eat right for my blood type too, because that matters. That that y'all y'all be asking me how you so well, how you know all of this here? Because I'm telling you this, my promise to you, it's like a light switch will go off, and you will hear your inner being speaking to you. They and sometimes I'm talking to y'all about different topics, and I'm in here speaking because I'm hearing my inner being speak to me through me. And I am saying, wow, that's pretty cool. Y'all would hear me sometimes. I'll, I'll be like, oh, that was good. Or I'll bust out laughing and be like, oh, that's me being the student, but yet hearing, having ears to hear my inner being. I could never do that when I was on low frequency with thyroid issues. I could never do that when I had, was anemic and all of this here. When I was overweight and couldn't breathe and had low pressure. But it was when that, when that light switch went off. It's like, wait. You know, I thought I was tripping when it first happened to me. I called my mama, who was a minister, and I was on the knees. I, I told her on my on her way over, I said, please come to my house and leave your cell phone in the car. Because <laughs> I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. But I'm telling you, you get a connection. I want you to get connected to your lifeline. Healthy said, yep, it just clicks. Channeling. Yes. And so I was on my knees when she came to the house. She's like, girl, what is wrong with you? I was by the front door. I was like.
And my mom's just looking at me. It's like, baby, we gonna have to pray for you. <laughs> I told her to leave the cell phone in the car because I felt like some I was just being tapped, like you know, like this conspiracy theories like thing was going on. I was like. Because how I was being in the first time seasons of my gift, I was being woke up in the middle of the night and I would have a new notebook next to my bed to write things down because I would just be compelled to just wake up and just start writing. And I'm writing and I'm like, oh, this is good. And I'll go back. I was so tired. I'll go back to sleep. And then I'll wake up the next day and I'll look on that, on that night stand to see if I had wrote something. And I'll look at what I wrote. And I'm like, how in the hell? How I know this? Cause I hadn't fine tuned my gift just yet. I had to write it down. I know this stuff. And then I started Googling. And then when Google gave me what I had on my notepad, I'm like, oh my God, cause I didn't know this stuff. And then I, I go running. I tell my mom, I couldn't tell, I didn't want to tell nobody else. Cause I, I just thought everybody else would think I was crazy. But then it came to a season where I ain't have to write it down no more. I could just turn on, I'll just turn on because I'll turn on social media when I feel led to, and I'll just begin to talk. That was my first video when I was being led to speak. I was shopping in the mall. I'm telling y'all, y'all connected to your Akashic records here. I was shopping for uniform clothes for my boys years ago when I first started this social media stuff. You could go scroll all the way down my YouTube channel to one of the first videos I did on a solar eclipse. And I knew nothing about no planets and no stars and no moons and no eclipses. But I was in the mall. Yes, yeah, same thing happened to me. I just started knowing stuff. Yeah, it just come to you like that. And so I was in the mall and I'm chopping for clothes and I called my mom and I was like, hey, hey, I'm going to go live. She's like, go live? I was like, yeah, my mom and my family know me to be the introvert. I'm not here to get attention. I'm here to help you with your soul expansion. That's what the blood type B's are known for. We're the balancers. We're the brilliant minds. And so she was like, go live? What you going to talk to them? Because mind you, I've been telling my mom, I ain't got nothing to say to them people, ever. I don't need to never go live. But I was like, I don't know. But something is just telling me I got to go live and I got to get up out of this mall. And, and I could hear everything. Ma, I could hear everything. I know all of these people's problems in the mall. What is going on? I got to get up out of here. It's just too much. And my heart was just racing and just everything was just pushing me to get home. It was almost like a gang of people was just pushing the car so I could hurry up and get home. And I got home and my mom was like, well, I'm going to call your AT. I'm going to call Uncle so-and-so and I'm going to call. We go listen. I sure hope it's good. Do you know what the subject is? And I'm like, I don't know. I just got to go live. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Channeling. People back in the day were easily sentiment. Yep. They were sentimental hospitals for saying things like that. Yeah, from their inner voice. They got a lot of crazy people that ain't crazy. They just in another realm of consciousness. But that's what this conscious shift, this is age of Aquarius, is doing to people because of the energy. The YouTube channel is in the link. It's the black triangle. If you look, click on my pic picture, you'll go directly to my YouTube channel. And so I get on this here particular live. And this is when I first went viral on on um on uh, Facebook. This was years ago. It was a solar eclipse. And I got on that live, y'all. And I was saying, I was I was channeling from my inner being, flowing from my inner be being. My inner being had me talking about spirituality, quantum physics, the stars, numerology. All kind of things and it was just coming. It was just coming and I was just hearing it and just listening to what was coming to me. And I was like, and this and this is a number nine because I think it was a must have been in September. It was a month of September of year like 20, 20, 2013, I think it was way back, about 10 years or so ago. And at the end of that video, I was in my office. That's when I lived in New Orleans, Louisiana. I was in my office in at the end, after I had got all of the words out, I just sat down in a chair and I was like, oh, oh, I just had to tell y'all. And that's when my life force, that's when me, as I know me, the fullness of me without hearing and being led and guided and speaking what I was being channeled with came forth in the video when I did that. 
I was like, oh, yeah, I just had to tell y'all. And I was so tired. Oh, I was dog tired because it was almost like so much energy because I didn't, I, I couldn't find too much, my gifts just yet. So much energy was just posted in me. I didn't even sleep. I didn't sleep for like two days after I did that. And I didn't really want that to happen no more <laughs> because I felt weird not having to go to sleep. And then I was like walking around, like asking my mom, am I normal? Do I look normal? Am I normal? Am I floating? Because it, I just felt like so light. So just hmm, words can't really articulate this. Just like so lightheaded. So, so open to like all thoughts, like. Until I fine-tuned my gift. Until I was able to calm myself. And now I'm in a position. And this all happened. How did this start? Because I started eating right for my blood type. That's how. How did I wake up? Because I just started eating right. And I became electrified. And I just opened up these acoustic records. And I just got this knowing. And now me and my inner being. that I can't forget what I'm saying to you. Because when I, if for some reason I look this way. For some reason it just feels comfortable looking this way. So I look this way. And when I'm looking this way. It's really just me talking. And we, me pretty much regurgitating the things that I'm being led to speak to you all. Because I'm connected. You connected. We all connected. I was connected when I had a crazy diet. I just had ears and I couldn't hear because I was at low frequency. It wasn't that my inner being wasn't talking. I just wasn't hearing. I hadn't fine-tuned my gift. But that's why I go so hard with this health and wellness thing because I want you to get electrified so you can hear these things and realize your God self. You are God. I don't come here to lie to you or offer you. I ain't no Jehovah Witness. I will not come knock on your door and say you got to come. Come when you ready. Come when you get dog tired. Come when it hurt bad enough. Come when you get your reason why. This is the season for you to have a reason why, though, baby. <laughs> this, is, this is the season. Your health is your wealth. That's really beautiful. Oh, yeah. It is the awakening. The awakening. And then you go through so many more awakenings. Awakenings, rather. It's like, it's like it ain't just one. Now, it's levels to consciousness, too. Everything has portals. Everything has levels. Because at that phase, yeah, I hadn't woke up, I thought. But then you get to the place where you astral traveling. When you doing sleep paralysis. And you jumping in and out of different realms. And then you realize that you are multidimensional and you eternal. And then each experience that you have with your inner being... When you feel real comfortable, that's when when you real, really, really relax, that's when your inner being will take you to other levels of consciousness. Once you reach that first level, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. Because in, along the journey, you learning how to deal with your emotions. You learning how to not be so fearful because you got to go through that fear. You got to release, release all of them skeletons and things in your closet, like right, that you put there. So you got to let them out. And so when you let them things out, you're more lighter and you're not afraid. And then the least, the least fearful you are, the easier it is for you to glide into another realm of consciousness. They, your inner being will only guide you or, or take you to deeper levels when you're ready. When you're asking, that's how you get ready, when you're asking for it. So that's, that's why I'm saying you got to want this thing. That's why I want you to want it. Don't have half ass telling me you want to find out what lollipop in the store is highly beneficial. Look now, you're going to go all in or not because you got to want it. You got to want it because, yeah, it's called the shadow work. You got to want it. You got to do your part. You can't give up on you. You got to be, you got to not be wobbling with your mind because a double-minded person is unstable in all his ways. You ain't going to get there like that. Mm-mm. You got to be ready for this journey. And the perfect starting spot, I'm telling y'all, is diet. I wouldn't lie to you, it's diet. It's diet in the physical. Because you got to manipulate, you got to learn how to manipulate the energies in the physical first before you walk around here talking about you a God. Goddess, master self first, God, save self first, God, heal self first, God, deliver self first from the hell that you put self into, God, be resurrected, be born again. Then you could go save the others. 
<laughs> Looking at the man in the mirror first, yeah. Definitely. I fasted on fruits and vegetables for three days and my thoughts were so clear. I know they were. I know they were. Game changer. Game changer. I did it. And I thought I was about to tap out in the physical reality because of my thyroid issues. And when I began to eat right, it just all just went away. Isn't that funny? You're a gym. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sasson48. Thank you. So, nonetheless, either you're ready or you're not. I could talk all day about it. But like I said, I'm only really here for those that have a good reason why. And they're tired because it hurts bad enough. For you, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you've asked. I'm glad you're on a journey to get to know yourself. I'm glad you're interested in this. And your next step is to visit my website and get your meal plan. You don't know your blood type, you still visit my website. And on the first link, it's going to send you to get you an at-home Elden kit to understand or get to know your blood type. You're going to just prick your ring finger. And in the privacy of your home, you're going to find out what your blood type is. Time, time you know her blood type. When you prick your ring finger, it's got the Elden at-home kit going to come with a cord. And you're going to put a little droplet of blood and a little droplet of water in the cord. They have to have four circles on the cord. And then they're going to have this little legend that lets you know. So if you have four looking copper pennies, if your blood forms like this here, that, that's going to mean you're the negative O and the positive O and so forth and so forth. And it's going to let you know what your blood type is. That's your first step, getting to know your blood type if you don't. Because your blood has memory. Your blood is going to connect you to your dormant DNA. It's going to connect you to compatibility and relationships. going to connect you to your trauma, your best jobs. I have PDFs available for you to get to know what your blood type is, your strengths and your weaknesses. Everything about your blood type is on the website too. The links at the top of the website will tell you everything about yourself. And you're going to be blown away. Even your sex drive. It's all written and it's all programmed in the matrix that you have a certain sex drive, that you be with a certain blood type to thrive. Them hit it and quit it, they didn't work out because you weren't blood type compatible with it. That job that you tried to go on, that you hated, you didn't stay there because you, your personality was not compatible with that form of work. Your mind don't work like that. You behave a certain way just because of your blood type. So this leads you to everything, all the cheat codes that you need to know in the matrix. And I'll tell you this, you, some people are calling out that they're old. They're 44, 44%, 44% olds in the United States population, 42% A's in the United States population, about 10% B's in the United States population. And only four Christ conscious energy bloodlines of ABs in this realm. And let don't get it twisted. You see them Bs that are only 10%? The reason why they only 10% is because they are the spiritual balancers. They're me. I'm a B. They're the oracles in the physical reality. See, I know my purpose. I'm an oracle here. And I bring balance to mankind based upon my gift of being able to see in other realms. I represent the 10%. Don't get the 10% twisted because our aura is way more massive than any other percentage of any other blood type. Our aura is inviting and peaceful because we are like the John the Baptist, the way makers of the Christ conscious one, the way makers of the, the um, Aquarius age or season. Okay? Them 4%, them ABs that are 4%, they're Christ conscious, walking flesh, Jesus Christ conscious bloodlines. They have the ability to draw people to them. They don't have to be woke to draw people to them. They could draw people to them just for the hookup of drugs. They could be a, very well be a pimp on the corner right now, drawing the, the, the women to them, drawing the customers to them, the hookup on a job. They don't have to be woke with their energy, but that's what their energy does. And when they they stumbled upon a spiritual side, then they have that inviting aura that saves people. 
that makes people feel so comfortable to be around them. Understand energy. Understand that because them bees and them ABs are here to help out mankind. Help out that 44% of them O's that are tapped into that physical and that and that 42% of them A's that are about order. They're, 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 they're physical beings. But to bring balance, it only take it only take 10% of bees and, and the 4% of ABs to bring balance to this realm. <laughs> you gotta get to know yourself. Spend time educating yourself. Get to that website and educate yourself on something. I got free stuff on my website too. I do free all the time because this is my passion, the purpose. The very thing that I was born to do with. It ain't about the financial gain. This is my act of service, giving back because I came forth to present this gift to mankind. Do meds with side effect disrupt the growth of our astral journey? It depends upon where you are within the growth. It depends. It could, in a sense, like say, for example, if you were in pain, if you're in pain and you're on pain and pain medicine, it could kind of disrupt you or increase your journey because some of those side effects could be hallucination. But the way that it will kind of disrupt you is the simple fact that you will just think probably toss it off as you tripping more than you actually going on a journey and experiencing yourself, what you are doing, no matter what you're on. You are always experiencing yourself. It so it depends upon where a person's mind is more than anything. Because they'll become af they afraid to take the meds because they're afraid now to go on that trip. But still, regardless, if you're medicated, if you're high, that's why that's why I tell people you don't really care if you on it don't really matter if you're on drugs, smoking weed, you know, getting high, meth or whatever, mushrooms or whatever, you still gonna go on a trip to the same place. It's just you embracing the trip for what it is or not. And so most often it's it's better to to be healthy, have a clear mind so you'll know it wasn't the drugs and you wasn't tripping. And you can have the experience open-minded as your regular avatar self and really understand and come in this realm and be like, no, that was real. Instead of, nah, I was just tripping. Yeah, I was flying and everything. Yeah, I was, it was like time was an illusion. Girl, I was, I was gone. No, you wasn't because time is an illusion. <laughs> There's no separation. You exist here in other realms too at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. 90 plus percent of people are iodine deficient in research. Yeah, they are. They are. Sustained detox is high in iodine. You get your iodine from your sea vegetables. Kind of like your um your um your sea mosses and your bladder racks and things like that, your nori, things like that of the world that come from the sea. But the thing about that is all blood types have different sea vegetables. Like so Mr. Iod Mr. Um what's his name? Mr. Thank you, Inner Bean. Dr. Sebe. Mr. Dr. Sebe, he was, in my opinion, a blood type A advocate. <laughs> and so he was an advocate for this gold Irish sea moss. Gold Irish sea moss isn't the highest uh, beneficial sea vegetable for all blood types. You see, it is a beneficial one, but for some blood types, it makes them feel full and stuffed and they don't want food with it. And it's not providing them the calcium and magnesium and things that they need because it's their, not their highest choice. It's not, it's not connecting with their blood like it would connect with probably the A or bloodline that he stemmed from. So we just got to... <laughs> It, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot. But iodine is something that's also missing when the people have those, the goward, I think they gourd, I think they call it. 
um, thyroid type issues, you know, when their neck is swollen and things like that there. That's selenium, that's magnesium, and that's iodine deficiency. But more importantly than not, that's toxicity throughout the body. You see? So they got really, got to get rid of the toxins because something is taking the iodine. Something inside of them is taking a magnesium. Something is taking a selenium. Because how could a person, even if it's just cutting up some green onions and putting it on their foods to avoid, how can a person never consume and be magnesium deficient? How could a person not get magnesium? How could a person not get like trace minerals of iodine? You ever thought that to be strange? If they ate the green onion. And it's, it's in the green onion. Even if they had everything to avoid in there. It was still in the green onion. So how did they? How did their body not get just a little kind of trace mineral of it? Because parasites got it. Because they eat. They try to take over the host. That, that's where them deficiencies come in. Because the, the leading cause to all of these sickness and diseases is that the parasites... It's inflammation, of course, because we're eating the foods to avoid. But once we eat the foods to avoid, then the, the balance becomes unstable and now parasites can thrive. Just like if you had a trash can and you had the trash can just sit in there out, flies going to come. So in here, parasites going to come. And they're going to take over and try to take over the holes. Yeah. Gouter. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. That thing with the big net. <laughs> yeah. We are plant-based. Fruits, herbs, most um, drugs will slow down or prevent natural, yeah, ability to self-heal. They'll slow you down, yeah, because they're not healing. They're just preventative care, kind of like, you know, um, pain relievers, kind of like. But they're not getting to the root cause of anything. <sighs> Oh, oh, voila. What's the guy who so I'm really your cousin? No, cousin like, you know, black people. That's my cousin. You know, like family. Like, no, no. I, I didn't know uh, Aaron. Aaron, um, I think his last name was Rudolph. Aaron Rudolph. No, I didn't know him personally in the physical reality. No, I didn't. Uh -uh. So someone turned um, me on to, okay, tropical magnesium? Enters the bloodstream. Okay. I like that. I like that. Oh, topical. The introvertness, like the, the sprays. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That works really, really good. And in the beginning, if you're magnesium deficient, the little magnesium sprays will make your skin kind of like itch. You'll itch. That's how you know that you're deficient in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The oil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. They sell, sell those at like um, Sprouts and Whole Foods store and maybe at a. Um, at Amazon too, or a little health food store or whatever. But yeah, you could spray it on your hands, spray it on your soles and feet or whatever. But yeah, that's really, really good because your skin is an organ and actually it's the largest organ. What you put on it penetrates inside of the body. And so I created a soap called Be Nourish. Be Nourish. I created that for one of my cancer patients for their skin because they didn't have chemo and then they their nails was like getting black and stuff from the um, chemo. And they had this thing called the neuropathy. Neura I can't pronounce it well. Neuropathy. Oh, I said it. Neuropathy. That they had that. And so they had like tingling in the bottom of their feet where they feel to get cold and stuff. And they'll feel like critters and everything. So I actually made the soap called Be Nourished. That's available on my website for men and women. It's a lymphatic cleanser. So, because I the purpose of me making it and designing it for the cancer patient was to clean out the lymphatic system, which is the backup to the blood. Because prior to getting the chemo, the 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 lymphatic system was backed up. That's why the body was so ascetic and in in had the the tumor in there that couldn't be released because the lymphatic system, if it was flowing, it would have pulled the toxins out and the tumor wouldn't have got to be big. So anyway, I created that soap for that, that patient 
It's a lymphatic system cleanser. It is not a regular soap, but it does clean your skin. And so my thought process when I was making it is that since the skin is the largest organ on the body, I'm going to bypass internally and I'm going to get to the lymphatic system and help them, the, the, the adrenal glands open up which sit above the kidneys and allow the kidneys to release all of the acids, the uric acid, the lactic acid, the mucus build up in the calcification via the urine. And I had this patient drink water while she was just pretty much bathing and being nourished. And every day her skin was turning over. The dark spots was going away. She could feel that, you know, her strength was returning and it rejuvenated her body after getting chemo. Be nourished is a lymphatic system cleanser. If you have a sickness and disease, you want your lymphatic system flowing again. Your blood pumps via your heart. But if you obese and ain't moving and sitting down or sick and toxic, your lymphatic system ain't pumping. It's just backed up. So we want to get that moving since it's the back up to the blood. And each time you urinate, what it's doing is taking out the waste in the kidneys, taking out the calcification of the body, and it's purifying the blood. It's purifying the blood since it's the back up to the blood. That's where all the sickness and stuff at. When you have high blood pressure and all of that in your blood, thick tacky blood, okay, it's thick and tacky, so what? Okay. Mm. But if this here... Lymphatic system don't never get clean, clean, and that blood become acidic, you flatline in debt. So you got to pay attention to cleaning out your lymphatic system. That is very, very, very important. Okay? How often do you use it? You use it just like regular soap, daily. But you got to stay hydrated to release them toxins, toxins. And so then when you go to the restroom, now your urine is dark yellow, right? First day in the morning, it's going to be the darkest yellow. Don't be afraid of that because at night you were detoxing. You took a shower with the soap. You were detoxing. You drank some water and you, your body was cleaning the lymphatic system. So the dark urine is going to be purposeful because that's the acids being released. That's the mucus being released. That's You're going to see settlements in the toilet. So you know the smaller part of the toilet where it gets a little narrow at the bottom? That's where your urine is going to sink down to and be. You're going to see the settlements or the lines. Some people actually see white, white, um, almost like crystals, like calcification in the toilet. That, that, that be them cancer cells. That be calcification. That be them acids that just come out in the toilet. You can reverse that. You can ur urinate that out in the toilet. Detox soap. Wow, amazing. Yeah, it's some detox soap. It's pH balanced. It's, it, it's herbified. <laughs> Highly beneficial for all blood types. Cleaning the lymphatic system. I purchased it. Use it this morning. It feels so awesome. Oh, you did. I didn't know, Belinda. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Yes, detox soap. Detox soap. Stay hydrated with it. That's all I got to tell you. You're going to have some good sleep, too. That's what I got to tell you. It's going to be like almost like an internal massage. I'm telling you what I know. But anyway, y'all know I didn't go to bed, so I'm about to get up out of here. And I got a couple of free consultations I'm going to do. I'm about to close this, close this here out. I didn't go to bed. I was hyped up for the energy shift from, from, from the little situation when they was fooling around and found out that um, it's Aquarius age. So I ain't going to sleep. That's why I've been like, kind of like looking like this here because <laughs> the light. Because <laughs> now all of a sudden I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> the light. Bright light, bright light. So anyway, hey, hey, hey. Hey, Carolyn, you coming in here late. Yeah, no, Miss Key moving lamp. Movement is key for moving the lamp. Yeah, also. Oh, okay. Okay. Active. Yeah. Yeah. Important. Yeah. Yeah, look at you. You wise over there. My first time on your life. Oh, okay. It's your first time here? No, oh, well, you got to come on back. You got to make sure you follow. You got to make sure you follow, yeah? We be talking all kind of healthy, conscious stuff every day. Monday through Friday. Check me out. Yours as well? Oh, okay, welcome. Y'all make sure y'all follow me. Yeah, bless you too, baby. This video was from my heart to yours. Y'all be blessed. Check out my website. Okay, all right, bye.
Now you know I'm tired. I can't. Okay, now I got it. <laughs>